Today I will talk about cartoons related to the environment, like A Turtle's Tale, Rio 2 and The Ice Age. Let's talk about A Turtle's Tale. In 1955, Sammy, a green sea turtle, hatches on a deserted beach and while trying to climb up a sand slope is caught by a seagull. He managed to escape along with another hatchling sea turtle named Shelly, who was caught by another seagull. Sammy falls onto an old raft and gets carried into the Tasman Sea, losing Shelly. Later, Sammy befriends a leatherback hatchling named Ray. The two friends grow up together. One day, Ray shows Sammy his newfound friend, Annabelle, who is an octopus, but they are forced to take shelter from an oil spill caused by an oil tanker shipwreck. After the raft collapses, Sammy and Ray are caught in trawler nets and separated. Hours later, Sammy is thrown back into the sea but is saved by a dolphin. Sammy makes it to the shore and the next day finds himself in an enclosure, taken in by human hippies and has the company of a British short hair named Fluffy. Eventually, Sammy shares the enclosure with a larger turtle named Vera. However, Vera is released into the sea as it seems the two are not mating. Not long after that, the unauthorized hippies are evicted by the police, leaving Sammy behind. Sammy returns to the ocean and is rejoined by Vera. On a search for food, Sammy and Vera rescue a female turtle, who turns out to be Shelly. Sammy and Shelly travel the oceans and ask around in search of the secret passage Sammy heard of. Finally, the two turtles brave the dangers of the Panama Canal, but separated as they try to pass a lock. Sammy follows her trail to the Antarctic, where he's picked up by ecologists and taken to California where he meets Fluffy once again. Soon after he released back into the ocean, Sammy is requested by two leatherbacks to help a trapped turtle in a container. His rescue is none other than his old friend Ray. With help from Ray's girlfriend Rita, Sammy explores a wrecked galleon and finds Shelly dating with another turtle. Rita reveals that turtle named Robbie is only a playboy. To win Shelly's heart, Ray enlists the help of the toothless shark Albert for Sammy to stage a rescue. Finally reunited with Shelly, the two turtles along with Ray and Rita return to their birthplace to make their own hatchlings. The movie hands a Sammy, now a new grandfather, helps his small grandson out of his nest and urges him to have his own journey. A Turtle's Tale is a noticeable improvement to Bean Tassen or the historical drama Fly Me to the Moon. This story is considerably more accessible to kids, the characters are better developed and the messages aren't as preachy. Kids familiar with Finding Nemo will be particularly interested in a movie dedicated to the life of a sea turtle, one of the ocean's longest living animals. Part coming of age tale, part environmental lesson, the movie should teach children about the importance of ocean preservation and the life of a sea turtles, while also entertaining them with the silly characters. This film is a surprisingly educational pick for younger kids with a curiosity about the sea. Families can talk about the movie's environmental message concerning the sea to their kids. How does pollution affect the underwater animals? Are all humans portrayed as bad for the sea, however? Now I will show you a little bit of this film. One day, Snow found a female turtle. I think she wanted us to... Uh... Mate? She's got to be kidding. I guess she wants more turtles. I know what mating is. That is so not happening. And who's your hairy friend? That's Fluffy. These are his humans. Exactement. You just stay away from my human sister. Oh, you can keep your humans as far as I'm concerned. Bunch of wackle doodle doo creatures. The farther away from them I am, the better. Tell me, sugar, how long they've been holding you prisoner? I'm not a prisoner. Really? Then why are you still here? This is the same questions I have been asking for weeks. Back off, Whiskers. Let me break it down for you. Where I come from, this here fence looks a lot like a prison. But okay, believe what you will if it makes you feel better. Lovely. Dinner calls a bientôt. 
when Disney Pixar unveiled Toy Story in 1995, audiences welcomed the novelty with open arms. The incredible realism of the images amazed more or less everyone. What at the time was an absolutely unique spectacle soon became the progenitor of an entire trend. The unsurpassed traditional animation, a battleground with an over 10 year history, had to deal with this new attack that would have marked its evolution in just a decade or even less. Shortly after the release of Finding Nemo, Disney announced it, its decision to abandon its most iconic genre in favor of a computer graphics. The cartoons proper would have been born on, only for home video, where even mediocre products can earn, also by virtue of reduced investments, and the energies of the most promising artist would have been powered into the powerful computer processors. For fans of the mayor classic Disney, a life of archival was promised, rather than of cinemas. Strong of the visual impact, not reachable with pencil animation, however, the TGA must not be the only means for the return of, of expenses. A good film has to have a lot of arrows in its bow and has to score some in good hits. Finding Nemo has several merits. It is a serious film in a way. The fairy tale suggestions once almost inevitable in uh, animated films, make more uh, and uh, more space for uh, a relative realism that transforms cartoons more uh, and uh, more, but uh, can they still be called that, into production also intended for adults. Thus, Finding Nemo is uh, first and uh, foremost the story of a father and a son who break Their, their relationship only to try to mend the, the tear. The protagonists are clownfish destined by modern nature to live their entire life among the sea, anima animals of the Australian coral reef. Marlin and coral wait for their hundreds of eggs to hatch when trading sticks them. A terrible barracuda attacks and destroys their dreams. Marley loves the conscious and uh, upon awakening discovers that uh, he has lost everything. Indeed, not everything. A Tony X is uh, what's left of her happy dream. And a little fish is a boom with an atropic fin. The film Rio. Java and their three children, Carla, Bia and Tiago, are living in the city, but Java is disappointed to see her children becoming too domesticated like their father. Meanwhile, Bruce Farmer, Onwer and best friend Linda Gunderson and her ornithologist husband Tulio are on expedition in the Amazon and after a fall down a waterfall, discover a pix mako that loses one of its fathers. Jawa believes that they should go to the Amazon to help find the blue mako, while the kids are ecstatic. Blue is entertained, but he is pressured into going alone. Blue brings a fun pack full of soupies, including a GPS, much to Jawel's charming. The leader of a group of elegant lodges named the Big Boss discovers Linda and Tullius' expedition to find the Makos and orders his hatchman to hunt them down. At the same time, the soup crew, Christy the Coquetio Nigel, 
plots to exact revenge on Blue Along with his new condories and uh, an teacher named Charlie and a poison dart frog named Gary. After they arrive at the jungle, Blue, his family and their friends, Raphael, the Toucan, Pedro, the Cardinal and Nico, the Canary, initially find nothing. However, they are eventually taken to a flock of blue macos that are hiding in an uncharted section of the Amazon. Oh, you're not gonna back out now. There, Gerald is reunited with her long lost father, Eduardo, paternal aunt Mimi, and childhood oh, friends, Roberto. Eduardo seems so unimpressed oh, bl Bobo with Blue, but fly. thanks him worry, for bringing Bobo, Gerald back DNA. home. Having lost their previous habitat be? to her son from the illegal lodges, Eduardo is anti human and brushes on, off Blue's suggestion yeah. to expose the sanctuary Why? to Linda and Julio to ensure so their protection. While searching the for heart, the Macos, are. Linda and Julio are eventually captured by the lodgers. Meanwhile, Blue does his best to fit in with the flock, as his family are doing, but his continued reliance on human thoughts prevent him from connecting with Daniel. Meanwhile, in another attempt to get closer to Blue, Nigel wins a talent show to become a performer for a carnival show that Raphael, Pedro, Nico and Blue's daughter, Carla, are hosting. When Blue tries to pick a Brazilian nut for Jowell, he accidentally tries to get it in the territory of the Spix Macos enemies, the Scarlet Macos, led by the hostile Philip. The war turns out to be a football match, but Blue accidentally cost the flock the territory when he scores his team's own goal. After a series of events, Eduardo drops his anti-human stains by wearing a funny pack of his own and accepts Blue into the flock. Nigel and Gabby are sent to Rio for study, Nico and Pedro's carnival shows goes on. Hello, today I will talk about Blue Lagoon, The Awakening. This is not the original version because the original is Blue Lagoon. I didn't want to talk about the original version because I didn't watch it. This film has been recorded in 2012 and it lasts 85 minutes. There are two main characters. Emma Robinson is interpreted by Indiana Evans and Ian McMullen is interpreted by Brenton Twaits. She is Emma Robinson. She is the perfect girl of the school. She has her usual friends and she hates Dean at all. She snubs him and she does everything she can to avoid him. He is Dean McMullen. He is the typical American boy and all girls want him to be their boyfriend. As all the American boys do, he totally ignores them because he is very rich. One day, the school that they attended decided to organize a school trip at the Caribbeans. When they arrive at the Caribbeans, they are all very excited and they organized an illegal party on a big boat. When Polis notice them, they are all worried and Emma is very nervous, so she falls accidentally off the boat. Dean falls to help her and they get on a life buoy that unfortunately wasn't tied to the boat with any rope. So they fell asleep and they wake up far away from the coast. They suddenly see an island, so they try to get there and once arrived, they leave the boat on the beach. Their phones aren't receiving any signal, so they cannot call home. They think that someone lives here, so they try to find a cafe to ask where they are. But after having searched for something they'll never find, they give up and start to build a kind of hut to pass the night. While they're building their hut, they talk about their lives. Their phones are not charged, so even if there were a signal, they couldn't have called anyone. Some days have passed on the remote island, and they have already learned how to survive on it. 
they kill fish alone and they cook it on the bonfire. They also fall in love by staying together all that time. They kiss and they have learned how to stay together. In the meantime, Emma's and Leon's parents are extremely worried for their daughter and son, and they ask to the police to go search in that area with an helicopter. They don't see it immediately, but when they notice it, it's too late. The helicopter isn't coming back ever. But they don't have to be worried. Their parents are so worried for them that after a few days, they send another one to look for them. This time the helicopter sees them and brings them to the airport. Emma is finally home. She is in her room when Dean knocks at her window and asks her when she's supposed to get back to school. The school have given her a week to relax, but she thinks she will go to school the day after. The film ends with the school prom. Emma is at the prom with her friends. Suddenly, under the rain and all wet, arrives Dean. The two teens starts at a very romantic scene. They dance under the rain.